The preterite tense is the past tense. It's one of a few past tenses in Spanish. And in a video not too long ago, we talked about what is used for and how it's formed with AR verbs. Now, in this video, we're going to review how it's used and how to form ER IR verbs, regular verbs in the preterito. So, for instance, the preterito is a completed action in the past, something that is done in a finite period of time. Por ejemplo, él escribió un ensayo. He wrote an essay. Um, yo volví a casa muy tarde. I got home late. So these are two verbs I'm actually going to show you how to conjugate in the preterite. But like I said, completed actions in the past. So let's take these two verbs, ER and IR verbs, volver y escribir. Well, first of all, how to form regular ER and IR verbs in the preterite is quite simple. You take off the ER or IR part and you add the following endings and they share the same endings. E, este, yo, imos, istes, yeron. I'll repeat. E, este, yo, imos, istes, yeron. Now, let's take the verbs I use in the, exam in, in the examples. Volver, to return. Now, this is a stem changing verb, and unfortunately, actually, fortunately, uh, stem changing verbs do not that end in er and ar, like I spoke about in the last video, um, do not stem change in the preterite. Ir verbs are a little different. We'll get to that in another video. So, even though volver is not always seen as a regular verb, it is regular in the preterito. So, here we go to return volver. Repeat after me. Yo volví. Tú volviste. Él volvió. Nosotros volvimos. Vosotros volviste. Ellos volvieron. So volver is to return. So you could say volví muy tarde. Anoche volví muy tarde a casa. Last night I got home late. And um, you can use it obviously in the other forms. It is a verb that is most commonly used in the preterite because it is a completed action. Unless you're saying, oh, I was returning home when this happened or I used to get home every night at this time. You typically use it in the preterito, just like the next verb, escribir. So repeat after me, escribir, to write. Yo escribí. Tú escribiste. Él escribió. Nosotros escribimos. Vosotros escribiste. Ellos escribieron. That is how you do it for a for ER and IR verbs. You take off the ER IR, you add the following endings: e, iste, yo. Imos, isteis, yeron. And you'll notice that the only two endings, just like AR verbs, regular AR verbs in the preterite, the only two endings that have the tilde, the accent, are the yo, i, and the el, ella, usted, yo. So there you go. That is how you conjugate regular ER and IR verbs in the preterito. For more videos, whether it's on more grammar, vocabulary, tourism, slang, what to read and watch, go to makingspanishsimple.com and subscribe today.